Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, an exciting video for you guys. You seem to really love my last jewelry review video, so I hope you like this one as well. It's one of the most uh, viewed videos on my channel and I truly appreciate all of the support and views and subscribers. It really means a lot. So let's get into the part two. Today I have three jewelry brands to show you guys. Um, Fraser Sterling, Vibe Season, and um, some more pieces from Ana Luisa. So first I'll start with Fraser Sterling. So I'm wearing this necklace today. If you're on Instagram at all, you've probably recognized this. This brand has a very like Y2K 90s aesthetic and um, celebrities like Hailey Bieber and Selena Gomez have been seen wearing these necklaces. So very popular, but I'm a true millennial. So it's definitely like up my alley. And I had a lot of pieces like this when I was a kid, but I wanted a little more like updated version. And so this is the Lucky You Choker and you can get your initial on it and it's um, genuine pearls. So it feels a little more elevated than like the beaded um, friendship bracelet necklace but still has kind of that charm to it. And so the packaging from Fraser Sterling definitely has that 90s Y2K vibe with the pink pastel clouds, super cute. And I really liked that they like have coupon codes going on all the time. They also included a free mystery ring. So I got this as the secret garden ring and it's just like a little adjustable pink flower ring. It's really cute. Has like a little freebie and you can really tell from like the sticker sheet their aesthetic and so i would love to get some more jewelry from them they're just like really fun quirky pieces i love like the mushrooms and they have like a ring that's like in pastel says so like fuck you on it which is like kind of funny so that is fraser sterling definitely if you want that like millennial y2k um not even, I guess you wouldn't even say millennial. You would just say like millennium. Like if you want that millennium, like 2000s Y2K vibe, definitely check out this brand. And like I said, they always have promo codes going on. It just started pouring raining. So I hope you guys can see and that the lighting isn't too dark. Um, but anyway, the next brand that I wanted to share is called Vibe Season. I believe because it's v-i-b-e-s-z-n so pretty cool pretty trendy so i discovered them because i was looking for a gold plated name necklace i had one when i was a little kid um i think it said like kimberly and i think i got it at disney world where it had like the little um mickey mouse like cubic zirconian under it and i was at a gift shop in santa cruz that had like the name necklaces and i was like oh my gosh i remember this from like being a kid and so as like a, kind of like a very common 90s name kimberly i was able to find my name and so i got this one from the gift shop and i just wore it like one time and it completely tarnished i think it was only like 12 dollars, so it shouldn't have been surprising but i was like i want to find a more durable long lasting version of this necklace i had also seen that this style was coming back and so i just searched like gold plated name necklaces and so once i did this company kept showing up in all of my like sponsored posts so i was like you know what i'm going to have to try it um, they were also showing that they had the like old english birth date necklace so that's what i'm wearing right now and i was like okay well i can get the name necklace I had this like script name necklace and I can get the old English birth date necklace from like the same place. Let me try it out. And I think they were having like a buy one, get two free sales. So I was like, let me just try it. Cause I didn't want to buy the really inexpensive name necklaces that would just tarnish on me. And I wanted something that was a little more long lasting, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money on getting like a solid gold version. So I just got like a gold plated. And here's how it all came. So it was all really like nicely laid out of the three things I got. And when I opened it at first, I was like, uh oh, what did I do? This is huge. Like compared to this little 
gift shop necklace, the size is just dramatically different. And I was like, oh, I don't know if this is what I wanted having like this larger size. Like that is a statement. I kind of liked it a little more dainty, but the quality is definitely a lot higher than that. And I really do love the old English birth date. I feel like this having like the four digits doesn't seem so huge on as I was worried when I saw it in the box. So I'm really liking this. If you've seen this trend around, um, I feel like it's really cute. I think it's kind of fun to rep your birth year. You know, your cohort It's an epidemiologist. We're always thinking of like age period cohort effects. And yeah, I'm proud to be a millennial. <laughs> I feel like it is kind of showing my age because so many people have this necklace and it says like 96 98 and so i'm feeling a little old but you know proud to be 1990. and so with the buy one get one free i got the script necklace i haven't worn this one too much i still worry that it's a little big you guys will have to let me know in the try on if you think it looks like too large maybe if i had just got kim it wouldn't feel as like bold of a statement but i'm loving the 1990 necklace so this is the Figaro necklace, I mean anklet, and I thought the um, this chain was really nice. This part seems a little less quality, but I can fit on the smallest um, thing, so I might remove the chain, but I really like that. I feel like anklets are coming back. That was also like a really big thing in the 90s, was to wear your anklets and your toe rings and your name. On a necklace so if you are looking specifically for the birth date necklace for um, the nameplate necklace check them out keep in mind they do have a sale and keep in mind the size so if you get a longer word it will look a little bolder but again let me know if it looks bold it might just be me comparing it to that little teeny tiny gift shop one so it's vibe season can you hear the rain it's usually not this heavy of a rain. I actually was gonna go walk and go like thrifting today, but I'm glad I didn't get stuck out in this rain. Um, I feel like I always have background sounds. It's thundering. Okay. The next jewelry brand is Ana Luisa. I'm currently in a rainstorm. But it's kind of like cozy. I don't know. Like maybe it's nice. Um, so I ordered a few more pieces from Ana Luisa, which is one of my favorite jewelry brands. I feel like they have like really trendy but classy pieces. So let's start with like the earrings I'm wearing. Oh, I'm still wearing the little um, thing. So these are the Santa Simple Gold Hoops. They're like that tube style that's like really popular in the larger size. But I wanted to get like the small size so I can just wear them with ever. They're not too much of a statement, but they're still really cute. And I like that at the end of the tube, there's like a cubic zirconian. So it gives it a little more of a, um, it feels like a nice piece, even though they're really well priced. And yeah, I just really like these for everyday jewelry. Um, this for everyday jewelry. I will note that the gold plating on Ana Luisa, when I compare it to some of like my Majuri gold from may pieces has a more lighter gold appearance maybe i'll find my majority earrings to compare so it's even like compared to like the vibe season gold plating so everything kind of has a different tone so that's something to think of when mixing and matching brands the anna luisa gold plating is a little lighter so i got these earrings and i love them i wear them all the time i've showered in them i've slept in them and yeah i just i really like them the next thing I'll show you guys is the Rope Bold Gold Twist Ring. So I got this, I feel like right after I made that video, I had said I really wanted this like dome croissant ring. Majuri and Ana Luisa have it. I went with Ana Luisa because it was just a little cheaper and I knew that I was gonna wear it more as like a costume jewelry piece. And so it's just so cute, so on trend. I got it in my typical size six. Well, my middle finger on this side is like a size six. 
this has to be like a seven my ring finger on my left hand's like a five and a half like every one of my fingers is different um but i got in a six so i can wear it on this i do wish i upsized a little bit to wear it on my index finger i think that's a little more like where you should wear like a more statement ring but it fits more true to my index finger but or my ring finger it's so cute definitely on trend and yeah one thing that um i was a little concerned about is like it's hollow on the inside so i was like that kind of doesn't look so quality when it's not on showing the inside of the mold but that just might be being really picky and you wouldn't want it solid because it would be really heavy this makes it pretty light um so that's the rope bold gold twist ring let me just leave that on while doing this so um so the next jewelry piece is this bracelet this is the poetry slim link chain bracelet they also have a thicker one which i really want to get so i could like layer multiple and it's just like the daintiest little gold linked bracelet and i wear this and i forget i have it on and so i like have showered and slept with it and i have noticed that because of that you're really not supposed to do that with gold plated jewelry because it will fade and i haven't noticed any of the links on the bracelet fading but the clasp and the little o-rings where you can um, decide where you want to put the clasp are a little more silver now so those have definitely faded quicker than the link part and i really like i would wear this week straight showering so definitely too much wear the occasional showering with it on and like not remembering to wear it i haven't found a problem it might also be because the bracelet is where i like spray perfume and you're not supposed to do that either so i think that's why i'm seeing more tarnishing on it but it still looks really nice and none of the actual links have tarnished just the clasp and i'll put in some close-ups so you can see that so that is something to keep in mind um most of my other pieces i haven't noticed any tarnishing but on the bracelet i did notice a little bit and one of my most recent purchases from Ana Luisa, and this is one of their like newer releases, which I just thought was so cool, are these little bar studs that are checkerboard. And so the checkerboard is really in right now. I have like hair clips with it, you know, band shoes with it. And I just love these little earrings. So when I don't want to wear a hoop, I can wear these. And then they just have like a little, I believe, cubic zirconian alternating with like the plated gold. And I do like how Ana Luisa studs have a wider um, backing. So there is, you know, some concern with wearing like butterfly backings. I haven't had any problems and I try to take them off before I'm showering and sleeping with them too much, but they do have a much wider back. So that makes it a little safer for not um, going in your ears. But I thought those were so cute and trendy and really like really, really cute. And for Ana Luisa, I typically would receive all my jewelry in this like velvet little pouch. But with those recent earrings, I got the little canvas green bag, which I had been seeing all on their Instagram. I'm like, I've never ordered something where I got the little green canvas bag, but it's so cute. And so then you can travel with it or put like other little things. So. So yeah, those are three more Instagram jewelry finds. Well, more than three finds, but three more jewelry brands and the jewelry that I recently purchased. If they have any like referral codes, I'll leave those down below. But most of these brands, all of them actually have a lot of promo codes going around. I think Ana Luisa every year has like a 20% off like all month long, which I think is going on right now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below any other Instagram jewelry brands I should check out. And then maybe I'll make a part three. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Look at that rainbow that just happened. It's a full rainbow.